Okay, so to make the toy texture, first thing you want to do is get a placeholder for the texture. So I like clicking add, going to mesh and using a UV sphere. That you typically shade it smooth for textures. Then what I want to do is go to the bottom of my screen until my curve looks like this. Press right click, then vertical split. You can place this anywhere. Uh, it doesn't matter. Then I'm gonna left click, go to the top left here, and then click shader editor. This will allow me to more precisely create the texture. So first thing you're gonna do is go to the right here, having the sphere selected in your material properties, make a new texture, um, keep it uh, at normal settings for now. I'm going to change it to uh, blue just for fun, it doesn't really matter. So the first thing you're going to do is go to your shader editor here on the left and add a noise texture. This is in texture and near the uh, middle, bottom middle. I'm going to click that and drag it over here. So the settings for the noise texture is really is um, going to make the texture the main thing. So scale, um, you want to add about, I think, negative or positive, doesn't really matter. But um, for my reference, I have it set to negative 55. And then detail, I have on 30. Detail isn't that major, but that's just the settings I had. Roughness, um, I usually have this around 0 0.85. You want the texture to be very visible. Then distortion, you want at zero. So you're gonna click the FAC, the noise texture, and drag it to roughness. You're gonna see it's already gonna look like the toy texture. A lot of blemishes and stuff. That's what you usually see in the FNAF 2 games. So you already might think that's looking pretty good, but I also like adding a clear coat to it to get the sleekness of the animatronics. So I usually go 0 0.6. You can see it's already looking really good. And then for the roughness, I just leave that default. And yeah, that should be about it. I mean, pretty good looking texture compared to the games. Um, I'll show you here. The roughness basically is how much you can see it. Um, if you leave this too high, then it's gonna look super spotty. Um, 0 0.85 is good for keeping it kind of faint. Um, but if you want it to be more visible, then go lower on your roughness. If I'm looking for something really visible, then I would do around this. I think that looks pretty good too. But that's up to you. But yeah, that's how you make the toy texture from FNAF 2. Thanks for watching.